So Paul Salmon here. I want to show you guys a modification that we make um, to the gyro planes um, to the landing light. Uh, the landing light that comes out, the factory landing light on many of the gyro planes, the Magnes and others as well, is pretty inadequate at night. It doesn't illuminate, even for taxiing uh, across the ground, the light doesn't shine all that well in front of you. And, uh, you know, when you come in at, at night on landing, um, it's, I mean, you got to line up with the center line of the runway to have any kind of decent illumination of the runway itself. And um, so, anyway, it's a little bit lacking on, on um, uh, your ability to come in and really get a good look at the runway <laughs> as you're flaring at night. So we make a modification to it where we add a light up on the mast and it really, really makes a huge difference in the illumination of the runway and your ability to uh, make a good landing at night without sort of losing your depth perception and, uh, and uh, banging it in when making it look ungraceful. So let's take a look at that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so one of the problems with uh, the gyros is the landing lights are not very bright. You can see this is the factory landing light on the front of 55 watt halogen. Even though it's a halogen, it's not very bright. And you can see that, you know, it shines out ahead of you. It's not terribly useful at night because uh, <laughs> you can see out in front of you when you're taxiing only about, uh, you know, reasonably about 50 to 60 feet is about it. And, uh, and at, on approach, it doesn't light up hardly anything. You gotta stay right over the center line of the runway for it to illuminate the center line very well at all. But what we do with these things is we add a separate light that's available and I'll uh, this is the original factory light, not very bright. Here's the one we've had. And you can see that up on the mast, that thing is quite bright. There you go. That's only a 15 watt light compared to this halogen, which is 55, which is not very bright at all. So it's one modification that uh, we do to the gyro so you can see a lot better at night. And I'll, I'll uh, get a video of some night flight showing uh, the, probably show at least uh, with this uh, good light available from the aviation department at Harbor Freight. <laughs> These cost about $25. The unit's pretty heavy. <laughs> Fabricated a uh, mount for them. This one, if you look at, it's got a crack. This one's got a crack on the side. And if you look on the other side, it's got a crack on the other side. Right so, the fix is in the works. We're doubling the thickness of the aluminum that uh, we made it out of and we'll be uh, remounting it here uh, soon. So, there we go. Okay, so that's the lights that we add to it. And um, they do quite a, quite a good job of lighting up the runway. So I'm gonna show you a, a quick uh, clip here that shows both the illumination on takeoff and uh, then on landing. And uh, let's see what you think here. Okay, so again, the, uh, uh, those additional lights provide a, a great degree of illumination both during takeoff and uh, landing. You might have noticed also that it helps illuminate the panel quite well. You can see the instruments and the light does not blind you and there's no reflection back off the, the front glass or anything. And it really makes landing at night uh, much more uh, amenable to making a good a good landing <laughs> without sort of losing depth perception. When you don't have adequate light out in front of you, particularly if the runway, you know, some of these smaller uh, airfields, they don't maintain the stripes very well. And you come in and it's kind of hard to see the runway if you've got inadequate lighting <laughs> on approach. So this does a really good job. By the way, our pilot for this flight around the pattern here at night was uh, uh, Jurgen Heinemann. He's, uh, I think, 
I think he's 84 years old. Retired Lufthansa pilot. He flew uh, 747s. I think he's one of the original 747 guys there at Lufthansa. Very, uh, very good pilot and a very interesting guy to have a conversation with. But uh, anyway, he was our guest pilot. He was here training, switching off to the rotorcraft side of, uh, of the equation with aviation and uh, doing a good job with it. So, well, I hope this film was helpful. And, uh, you know, if you decide to uh, modify your aircraft, you want to be sure that you've got a nice beefy mount there. And uh, like I say, we're going to be reworking that mount. In fact, we've just about got it done. It's going to be twice as thick, and um, and it should should do the the trick quite well. This is a very affordable thing to do. I mean, you can literally do it if you've got the ability to fabricate the mounts and all that. You're talking, you know, less than 100 bucks to do the whole thing. I do recommend you put it on a separate switch um, and or and or a separate circuit breaker. It's only a 15 watt light. It doesn't pull much, but it's not a bad idea to have it on its own circuit breaker. So. Again, I hope this was helpful to you guys, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.